If you're starting a new YouTube channel in 2022, whether you're an existing creator or a creator for the very first time, you're gonna wanna know about what's in this video. Here we go. G'day, I'm Doug, and today we're talking about the new requirements to unlock features on brand new YouTube channels. Previously, we talked about some recently announced updates like uh, the change to qualifications for mentions, the live streaming changes for mobile live streaming, and we've also talked about the lowering of the community tab to require only 500 subscribers. So in that sort of vein, we're deep diving again to another feature that particularly applies if you're creating a new channel. Not so much going to affect people with existing channels, with, a, with a existing channel history, but if you're creating a new channel, whether that's the second or third or fourth channel, or you're a YouTuber for the very first time, this will probably apply to you. So let's dive in. So this is a fairly new channel. It's a couple of months old. So I've gone into my studio dashboard and we've dived in to settings, the channel menu, and then clicked on the third tab, which is feature eligibility. Previously, you might see this on an existing channel as having two tiers, features that are available to you right away, and then you have to verify your channel to get the rest, and then you move on from there. Here, YouTube is now breaking this out into three sections with three different sets of requirements to unlock each section. So we're gonna dive in and look at them right now. Just before we hit the three boxes, of which I've also got highlights and screenshots of. There is a little blurb here. It says, you can manage your access to more features here. Intermediate and advanced features require additional verification, which helps us keep the YouTube community safe for everyone. So this is very important in keeping the community safe. In other words, not just letting people have channels and having full carte blanche to doing all the features, they're going to be guarded on because it's easy for people or it historically been easy for people to create bot accounts, all the different things that we're seeing happening on YouTube right now, and also just community safety in general. We can do deep dive into that another time, but we're just going to look at the feature in this video. We see this, these uh, three tiers, number one, standard features, number two, intermediate features, and number three, advanced features. Let's look at them one at a time. First one, standard features. Get your YouTube channel started and begin growing your audience with these features. Now, these are super simple. The ability to upload a video and to create playlists, add collaborators to playlists, that's collaborating with other channels, adding new videos to existing playlists. So this is really super basic features. And the requirement to enable this feature is just to keep your, purely keep your channel free of active community guideline strikes. So basically when you create a new channel and you haven't done anything wrong, you start out, you're gonna have this enabled automatically. So this is a super simple one. And this is giving you the basic functionality of getting your channel started. I think that makes sense. So we're gonna move straight into the second one. The second one is intermediate features. It says find new ways to engage your audience and build your personal brand with a wider set of features. These features are videos longer than 15 minutes, the ability to use custom thumbnails, the ability to live stream, and the ability to appeal content ID claims. Now they sound very familiar because look at what the requirements is. To have number one enabled and good, and number two, to verify your phone number. This is a historical channel verification by phone where you give them your phone number, any mobile device that can get a text message, and then they'll send you a code, you type in the code and you verify it, super simple really quick and easy to do, still is to this day. What is this new third tier and what's it all about? Let's dive into what it says. Number three, advanced features. Expand your reach on YouTube and beyond with these advanced features. Create more live streams daily. So being having the ability to live stream multiple times a day. Uh, a gaming channel might be a good uh, situation for that. Upload more videos daily, create more shorts daily. It is really easy to create multiple shorts a day if you're in the uh, shorts arena. And also the option to embed live streams. That's basically having a live stream embedded like a video embed on like another website. 
if you have this feature, all these features activate, you also will be, when you get your 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time, be eligible for monetization. What are the requirements? Let's have a look. Everything in the basic and intermediate, enabled of course. So we're stepping up here. And then you need to add one of these free. Now you can see here, because this channel is a few months old, now I've got some videos going on it. Not a huge amount, I've got some views on some shorts. This is my shorts channel. A couple of them have got a few hundred views. Some have got not much at all, that's fine. But I've already been validated for this uh, under the channel history option. Now I think we need to dive into what these question marks say each of these options are. So let's start at the top though. A video verification, what is video verification? Create a video verification. Simply look at your phone's camera and follow the prompts, look up and down, etc., to get quick access to advanced features. After two months of channel activity and following our community guidelines, you'll establish channel history and will automatically delete your video. So this is basically another way of proving that you are a legitimate person using the platform in a legitimate way by doing a facial verification where it's gonna, I guess you do it on your phone. Uh, we can click learn more here. And what is gonna ha happen here is gonna pop open a little sidebar. And this is gonna tell us about the video verification. This sounds very new. No one's, I've not heard of this video, video verification. We'll be looking at this article in a bit more detail, but I'm just gonna go into here. If you wanna unlock advanced features sooner without sufficient channel history, you can verify your identity through video verification or by providing a valid ID. If you don't want to submit a video verification or valid ID, you can always wait to build up a sufficient channel history. Video verification. A video verification is a short video of a person's face. We'll use this video to help us verify that you are a real person, old enough to use Google services, smart, smart, and that you have not been suspended for violating you choose policy. So in other words, you've been previously terminated and you wanna come in and create a new account. This is gonna catch you out, apparently. It will also help us protect against fraud and abuse and may improve our verification systems. When you build up sufficient channel history, the video verification personal identification data will be automatically deeded from your Google account. So they hold that video as proof that you're a legitimate user of the platform until such time you can prove it by your general platform use. I think this is good. I think this is good. The second option is valid ID. Now this sort of, you probably have an idea what this is all about. Uh, take a photo of your valid ID, so like your driver's license or a passport or something, uh, to gain quick access to advanced features. After two months of channel activity and following our community guidelines, you'll establish channel history and will automatically delete your ID. So again, like the facial recognition thing where it, where you say, hey, yeah, I'm a real person. I'm responding to the prompts. So I'm here right now. I can say, hey, this is me. I'm a legitimate person. I'm putting my reputation on the line to use this YouTube account until I can prove that I am a worthy YouTube creator. And of course, channel history makes sense, but let's, let's establish it. Keep growing your channel and following our community guidelines to help build channel history. For most creators, this usually takes up to two months. If you've used your ID or video verification to access advanced features, we'll delete them from your Google account. So as soon as you earn the prerequisite two month or so access on your channel and doing YouTube stuff, they will count that as channel history and then remove any ID if you've fast tracked it with a, a ID or a facial recognition. At the start, I mentioned this blurb up here about the keeping the community safe and I clicked learn more and we're gonna it's gonna take us when I click learn more it's gonna open a side panel as you can see here it's called access to YouTube tools and features but I've opened this up as a full web page so let me just jump to that let's get more information on this and understand it a little bit further access to YouTube tools and features the following Help Center article covers an update visible to a subset of creators. And in my mind, what I understand it, um, just from my observation, is that this is for people creating new channels. I've recently created a channel, uh, even more recently than the Shorts channel that I was just demonstrating on. And I don't have channel history on that yet, so I don't have access to those third features unless I upload an ID or the uh, photo um, video identification. 
It says here, we're testing out additional eligibility criteria for certain features to reduce abuse. And logically, you have to test it on new people coming in because everybody else who's already on the platform has established channel history. So it's these new channels that are being created. And it makes sense because they're the ones that could be getting used uh, for dodgy things like spam bots, spam accounts, transmitting misinformation and different things. We can even dive back to the live streaming changes for live streaming from the YouTube app on the mobile device. So if somebody was to create an account on the mobile device and it started live streaming, then you would have to have that enabled all the check boxes to at least that second one, which is intermediate. They put that limit of 50 subscribers to uh, enable live streaming from, that, from the mobile app and where you can only live stream to the amount of subscribers you have plus 25. So you say I had 100 subscribers and I could live stream to no more than 125 people at once. So this is somewhat related, but to the side, but it is in a similar vein of protecting the community. Because remember, you cannot live stream from the YouTube mobile app if you're under a thousand subscribers, which has been for a, a, quite a number of years, two or three years now, up until uh, late last year. That was in place to stop bad actors who would just pick up a phone and start broadcasting something that would be like active shooters and different things couldn't like promote their, their vendetta, their propaganda, whatever you want to call it. In saying that, this is all things that YouTube are trying to do to reduce a whole lot of bad acting that is happening on the platform at a base level. Usually people who are creating new accounts to do things that are against YouTube's terms of service, such as spam. We're gonna look at this because this tells us some more of these things. Uh, it says you can learn more and ask questions on this community forum thread. So that's gonna be something we're gonna, op might open up later, but let's read through. YouTube offer many tools and features to help you make the most of your content and gives you a choice to, on how to verify your identity to gain access to them. Verifying your identity helps us reduce abuse and spam. Abuse, which means taking advantage of uh, YouTube's platform to broadcast certain things. And remember, YouTube now has, has obligations to society and to the governments are holding them account for the content that is being broadcast, particularly uh, like these ad hoc live streams and stuff that might go out, uh, whether it's a crypto scam, whether it's an active shooter, whether it's anything like that, they've got a responsibility and they're being held accountable. Many governments in the world, including here in Australia where I am, are bringing laws to hold platforms like YouTube and Facebook accountable for some of these things. So then they now have to hold users accountable for being responsible users of the platform. And then here it goes through the options of the features which we talked about, the standard, intermediate, and advanced. It says, note in addition to, to above, make sure to follow YouTube community guidelines. Violations of our policies may result in a strike and or block access to features. As you already know, if there's a community guideline strike, you do lose access for a period of time to a lot of the general features of YouTube, like uploading a video and things and live streaming. Try and keep yourself in good standing. The best way to do that is to be familiar with the community guidelines and endeavor not to cross the line. As we saw at the beginning of the video, you can go into uh, your YouTube studio settings, channel, feature eligibility, and it shows you all those things, what's turned on and where you can activate them. And then there's a help center article, which we're gonna open up now, about the verifying your identity, which is the one we looked at before, which is here, how to unlock it. This goes into all the information about building a channel history and stuff. So we're gonna look at this really quick. We know that intermediate features are unlocked by verifying a phone number. And then the advanced features, which is what we're particularly looking at here. Option one, build a channel history. This is something we really need to know because this is like the free and easy way. It just takes time. Time. Your channel history is a record of your channel activity, uploading videos, live streaming, engaging with your audience, and consistency following YouTube's community guidelines. So to make sure that that you, you're doing the things and that you're following the guidelines. If you've been active and have constantly followed the community guidelines, you'll typically gain access to advanced features within two months. And I can attest to the case because my shorts channel is a couple of months old and I have access as you saw. 
Avoid delays in building channel history. Violations of community guidelines will delay the process. The following behavior is strictly forbidden, which is basically just a short summary of community guidelines. You don't want to post uh, violative content such as sexual, harmful, dangerous, hateful, violent, or graphic content. Dive deeper, of course, in the community guidelines. There's a link right there. So when you follow that, you'll get the details. Um, harassment, cyberbullying, hateful comments, misleading metadata, spamming, inaccurate reporting, deceitful practices. And, and remember, misleading metadata could be as simple as uh, putting a list of tags in your description because that's, that's, that's not on. That's listed if you go and find that. So things, simple things like things you might not know as a, as a new creator, that's why you need to be aware of the community guidelines and be aware of all the things that you shouldn't be doing on the platform because it could be something that you're innocently doing. Uh, threats and scams, that's a big one on, on YouTube, scams particularly. Impersonation, nudity, violating child safety and privacy. Copyright strikes may also impact channel history eligibility. Basically, the moral of the story there is keep it clean. Keep it clean, follow the rules. And then they've provided some additional troubleshooting problems, things that could come up that, that might not be standard because you might have done all the things to unlock stuff. And then you might still get a message saying advanced YouTube features are not available on this account. And then we have frequently asked questions, FAQ, your favorite three letters. I know this is probably gonna bring out questions, so let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about these verification setups. If there's anything that just doesn't make sense to you and you want some clarification, drop in the comments, we'll see what we can do about answering those questions to the best of our understanding here. Now, earlier in the video, I alluded to talking about the new live stream requirements for mobile live streaming on the YouTube app. You can go check out that video right here. So go watch that right now if you want to find out more information about the eligibility requirements. Until next time, this is Doug, and I'll catch you later. Subscribe to Doug Hughes and YT for more tech or content creation.